What's going on you guys, this is all Danny Day 1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Division 2 video and this is going to be a raid guide for the second boss. So the second encounter or the second boss is going to be for, uh, you're going to go against a boss named Carter, a boss named Dawson and then after one of those bosses are down or both bosses, a third boss named Weasel is going to come down straight from the middle. So the way this is going to work is you're going to have a side A and a side B. Side B is the one on the left side, side A is on the right. You want to make sure you have you split the team up in fours on this it's going to be really easy and there's going to be some nice cover as well that you can spread out around and then there's also three consoles on the jet in the middle so the three consoles in the middle only one side so either side a or side b is going to have a symbol saying wait it's going to be green so you don't even have to read the letter it's just going to say uh, it's just going to be green what we did was um we had the one that's closest to the entrance so the one that's on the far right from me on my side or on my screen if you're on side b it's going to be on the very far right if you're on side a it's the very far left that is going to be number one the one in the middle is number two and the one on the furthest one on the end which is the left side on side b and the right side on side a is going to be number three so you would have to call out one two or three for both sides both sides have to hit it at the same time so when you hit it just say um number two and then you're gonna end up going to the second one and then say here go and then you're gonna both press it and then it's gonna switch the smokes so as you can see there's an orange smoke here and then there's a purple smoke you want to keep the smoke up for at least 15 seconds so on the very bottom of the screen you're gonna notice there's two red buffs or debuffs you have a red debuff that's a weapon and a red debuff that's a shield the shield debuff is from the orange smoke so what the orange smoke does, it's going to reduce the amount, or it's going to make you dizzy. That's what it is. It makes your character dizzy, and when it gets higher in its seconds, you get more. You you become really dizzy at 20 seconds. So you want to make sure you guys end up switching at around 15 seconds because you want to be able to still put out enough damage. Orange doesn't do anything to your damage. Purple, on the other hand, will deal damage to you. Or it will not deal damage to you, but um reduce the amount of damage you start doing so you can start putting out like numbers of tens and 15s and threes against the boss when you can when you originally hit like 22 50k 100k so you got to make sure you do alternate also when you are around 18 to 20 seconds with purple the purple smoke your health starts to go down because it's poison now you also want to make sure you do end up killing both bosses around the same time the reason why is because if you kill one of the bosses, the weasel is going to spawn out. And then once weasel spawns out, the plane goes up and you cannot switch the control panels anymore. The fog will switch, I think it's about every 20 seconds, they switch by themselves. So what we did was we made sure one group had no shield and then the other one had no shield. We And then once they have no shield, you could basically just burn them down, whether it's purple or not. Now keep in mind, with the purple smoke, you will still keep normal damage up to around 5 seconds but around 5 to 10 seconds that's when the damage starts to really drop a lot and then 15 seconds you're going to start hitting pretty much nothing so you want to make sure you're doing that and then um, like I said Weasel is going to spawn out from the middle what we did was we had 6 people on B and a few people inside the bunkers and outside the bunkers and 2 people stayed at A clearing ads so we only had two people on ads, everyone else was on the boss. I mean, there was a few other people that were also working on ads as well, but for the most part, we were able to we were able to clear out the ads pretty well, just like this. Um, you have to also keep in mind, there is gonna be snipers as well. And if you have the red eye, which is from the boss, if you have aggro, either on, on any of the three bosses, if you have the red eye, you need to stay away from, the, from other group members because the boss is gonna spam out grenade launchers if he spams out grenade launchers he the third boss can also spam out um, not spam but shoot a sticky grenade on you so just like from the first division a sticky bomb but if the boss starts spamming if he starts bombarding you with uh, bombs you need to make sure you're away from everyone else you can also roll around you can jump around um, which is something I should have probably done but you can jump around to avoid the, the bombs. He can kind of anticipate where you're gonna jump to. He shoots towards where you're running basically. But um, yeah, it's not 
too bad. It, uh, honestly, I think this is the easiest boss once you kind of get the coronation down a bit. But um, yeah, so what you want to do once you get Weasel out, I'm just going to reiterate what I just said, basically. So after you do the damage, after you drop both bosses, two people from A is going to come to B. As you can see, we have a few people inside the bunker and then a few people outside the bunker. And you're going to just do damage on the boss at orange. You can still do damage on purple, but keep in mind you're not going to be doing a lot of damage later on because of the fact that the purple smoke is going to stack up all that damage debuff to the point to where you won't be doing much. But still, just chip out how much damage he does because he will still heal up. He'll heal up armor, not as much as Boomer, but he does heal armor over time. But that's honestly pretty much it with this whole raid. There's not a lot to it. Like I said, there are snipers in the bunkers as well. So you got to make sure you take those out. Call it out. Say Sniper A or Sniper B. And hopefully someone takes them out. Hope a Devastator, not the Devastator, the Nemesis is a good weapon to have as well. Just for that. Just because you can take out the boss or you can kill the boss pretty easy with that. You can kill the snipers in a few shots or one shot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is, if this helped you out at all, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. And I will try my best to help you guys out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all Danny Day 1 on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and peace. I got a aggro. I don't have a aggro. Damage, damage. Uh, shoot boss please and sniper snipers up top on B snipers up top on B This sniper's doing work on this dude. He's bro. almost down. This sniper's doing work to fuck this guy uh, the launcher this fuck. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay. Keep keep shooting keep shooting keep shooting uh, Just focus. Alright good shit. Ass,